Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. You can send them in. Absolutely. Did you ask if they would like a cup of tea or coffee? Water? You did? Okay. Okay, no worries. Yep, send them in. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Mm-hmm. Great. Could you just spell it for me really quick? Mm -hmm. And your last name? Yep. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Come and sit down and get comfortable, okay? Um, my name is Holly and I'll be your therapist for today and I'll be working with you, okay? Now, did our receptionist get you a cup of tea? Yes. Okay. Amazing. Very nice. Um, I'd also like to apologize for any background noise that you may hear today throughout our session. We are right along the highway. It can get very loud. Um, so I do apologize for any, any noise. Okay. So I'm just going to bring up a file here. So, can I ask what you've been referred for today? Mm -hmm. Just have a little look at, at your referral now. Okay. So you've been having some concerns with a phobia of yours. Yeah. And what phobia has been causing you the most concern at the moment? Mm -hmm. Your arachnophobia? Okay. Okay, so you're scared of spiders? Yeah. Now, a lot of people are scared of spiders. That can be quite normal. So what has brought you here today specifically that it's causing you great concern? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be typing notes throughout as well. Is that okay? Thank you. Okay. So you're worried that it's interfering with your life? Okay. So more than a normal fear. It's actually interfering with your life okay could you tell me a little bit more more about that in what ways that you feel like it's impacting you in your day-to-day mm-hmm okay right so you live in a house that is right along the bush and there is a lot of spiders that come into the home okay and it's causing you a great deal of distress sure. okay so you're finding that mm-hmm Okay, so even once the spider has been removed, you'll refuse to go into that room with the spider for... Okay. Okay, so it can be a number of days. Mm -hmm. What happens if the spider was in the kitchen, for example? What would you, what would you do after it's been removed? You would get your son to go get you things from the kitchen on your behalf. Okay. Okay, so it's to the point that you don't even want to cook or clean in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that can be for up to two days, two to three days, sure. Okay. Yeah. So even to the point you don't want to go in your backyard, you don't want to hang 
washing out on the line because you're scared of the spiders that okay okay that are outside sure how do you feel about going for walks in your neighborhood is that something that is also very triggering for you mm -hmm. okay because you don't okay so it's like that unknown and not knowing where the spiders can come out from sure Right, so safe to say it's making it very difficult for you to leave the house right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're a bit worried that you're just getting increasingly isolated and unable to leave the home, sure. How long you've been experiencing this extreme phobia for? Do you know where it possibly originated from? Mm -hmm. okay. Were you scared of spiders as a child, perhaps? You were? Okay. Have you had any... Um, experiences in particular that's really brought on this extreme fear mm -hmm. okay. I can see that it's very hard for you to even talk about this you look quite uh, quite shaky a little bit um, white in the face. Are you feeling okay? Do you need to have a break? Okay, I just want to check in with you. If there's any point that you need to stop and take a breather, that's totally fine. Just let me know. No worries at all. Okay, so from what you have told me, So it sounds like you've been afraid of spiders since you were a child mm -hmm. and that your mother was also very scared of spiders so it's something that you've grown up with for a prolonged period of time yeah okay and then it sounds like it's mm -hmm, gotten more extreme since you've moved into this house sure Mm -hmm. Can I ask how long ago you moved into your current property? Mm -hmm. About 12 months ago, okay. Right, so you really want to work on getting better with this phobia. Okay, is that why you've come to see me today? Mm hmm Okay. Well. Sorry, just give me a second. Normally what I would recommend for my clients presenting with um, extreme phobias is I would typically recommend doing some exposure therapy together. Have you heard of exposure therapy? A little bit but you're not too sure? Well, that's fine, I can explain it if you like. Exposure therapy is just a way to gradually um, just not too fast, nice and slow, but gradually expose you to some of these things that you're afraid of okay and we would start off by making an exposure hierarchy so it might start off something really really simple um, even something like just looking at a picture 
of a spider, okay? And um, assessing your anxiety levels surrounding that. And then it might, um, and then it goes up into more um, more exposures until you can get all the way to maybe even having a spider on your arm for example i know i know that that sounds very extreme right now okay but i with your consent i would appreciate being able to make this list together and then we can start really slow okay i don't want to overwhelm you Mm hmm all right so I want you to think of a few situations involving spiders okay things that you're particularly struggling with in your day-to-day -day functioning and then what we can do is scale that on a level of 0 to 100 for um, how anxiety provoking those situations are for you and your circumstances, okay? Okay, so for example, you mentioned that you find it difficult to go for a walk in your neighborhood because you're afraid that spiders could be lurking around, okay? Okay. Now, could you tell me on a scale from 0 to 100 how anxiety provoking that situation is for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so about a 50. Okay, sure. Now, what about going into a room where a spider was in your house so for example if you were in the kitchen and someone has removed the spider for you and you need to now go into the kitchen and cook some dinner how anxiety provoking is that feeling for you okay so a 75, you'd say? Okay. So that's quite anxiety provoking, sure. What about being in the same room as a spider up on the wall? So if one's just up in the corner of uh, your bedroom, for example, and it's still there, how anxiety provoking is that for you? Okay, so a 90. Yeah, so you absolutely will not go into a room if there is a spider there. Sure, okay. Yeah, okay, so you wait for somebody to come home and help you remove it, sure. some other um, situations involving spiders okay so you mentioned that you had a fear of hanging your clothes out on the line because of spiders yeah how much anxiety would that cause for you if you were to do that if you were to hang your clothes on the line and um, take them off the line when they're dry mm -hmm. okay Okay, so an 80, you think? Sure. in it how would that make you feel on that scale from zero 
to 100. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, or even a documentary about spiders. Yeah, yeah. So maybe like a 40 to a 45. Okay, yeah. Do you see what I mean by how uh, different situations involving spiders, although uh, fearful for you, it's at different levels. It's not all at 100, for example. Mm -hmm. And so something like looking at a spider is not... Um, looking at a spider through a screen, I should say, is clearly not as provoking, um, anxiety provoking for you as looking at a spider that is in your home. So then carrying out that exposure therapy, I would say that looking at a spider um, on a screen or even in a book might be a good place, um, might be a good place to start and um, really just getting your body used to those sensations and I'm more than happy um, you know to work with you in future sessions and really um, exploring how you can control those fear responses and working on some breathing techniques to really get you through um, get you through those exposures and moving up to the next level and to the next level so you're feeling like you're able to function better in your day to day. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, if I was to ask you to hold a spider on your hand, how would that make you feel from zero to 100? Mm hmm. Okay, straight up 100. Yeah. Sure, okay. Now you might find that you don't even want to have um, to go that far on the exposure. Yeah, yeah. You might find that you don't you don't feel like you need to touch a spider for any reason, and you just really want to get to the point where you're able to um, go out in your backyard, being able to go for walks in your neighbourhood, just being able to. Um, function better in your house and in the community and if that's enough for you then that is totally fine you don't have to go to the point where you physically have to hold a spider if that is yeah yeah you don't have to go that far absolutely no I will not make you go that far if you don't think that is relevant to you and your needs and you know you're part of this process as well this is a collaborative effort here i'm not going to make you do anything that you don't want to do you have to be we both have to be on the same page with this okay and the fact that you're here just today is a really great step Okay, it takes a lot of bravery to come in and even just being able to talk about your phobia because I know that's anxiety provoking in and of itself isn't it yeah I completely understand okay let's, um, let's come up with a few more situations here okay What about um, how anxiety provoking would it be for you if you were standing um, outside? near a near a spider web and let's say that the spider then you might not even be able to see the spider in there the spider might not even be there anymore um, might be completely gone but how do you feel about just standing near a spider web mm -hmm. from zero to 100 okay 
Okay, so probably like a 60. Sure. Now what about that same situation but the spider is actually in the web and you can visually see it in the web? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so an 85, sure. Now, how do you think you would feel listening to a story, like maybe an audiobook or um, a podcast where people are talking about spiders, maybe, um, you know, about a spider infestation or just a, like a story about them? How anxiety provoking would that be for you, do you think? Okay, so about maybe a 50, 55, okay, okay. So still reasonably, yeah, yeah, that would still make you quite uncomfortable, sure. Now, what about a situation where you had to remove the spider yourself. So if you had to go, um, if there was a spider on the wall, um, how comfortable would you feel in, you know, say placing a cup over it and some paper and taking it outside? How would that make you feel? Okay. Okay, so for you, that's, that's a straight up 99 to 100. Okay, okay, so that's, um, almost as bad for you as actually having it on your hand. Yeah, okay. How would you feel about um, having that one and maybe uh, the top of the list? Because it would give you the, um, you know, you don't actually have to touch any spiders, but it would give you the capacity to remove them from your home and, you know, and to keep yourself safe that way instead of um, having to call somebody to come over or having to wait for somebody to come home and then you can't use those rooms in the house. How would you feel about having that at the very, very top of the list? Keeping in mind, we would start all the way down here. Mm hmm Okay, you look a bit nervous. That's completely normal. Okay, okay. Look, I'll add it in. And this um, list that we're making does not have to be set in stone, okay? Um, you know, we, we can change. We can change the list. We can readjust it as needed, okay? Maybe it would be a really um, good one to have right at the top without you having to physically hold a spider. Yeah. Okay. So, I think that's pretty well it for the list. Um, after our session, um, what I will do is really compile this into. Um, into a proper list starting at what was the least anxiety provoking for you and all the way up to the most anxiety provoking and we'll um, I'll have that more organized and I can send it to you and um, and then we can start working on that in future sessions together how does that sound okay would I just be able to grab your email if that's okay so that I can send this to you when um, when I'm finished yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's at hotmail.com. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Okay. Sure. Sure. How are you feeling after our session today? Mm-hmm. So you're scared but hopeful that you can 
mm -hmm. that you can really work on your fears and just live a more functional life. I think that's totally understandable and you know I hope that we are able to work together so that we can make sure you have a higher quality of life because that's that's the main thing we're after here. Yeah. Do you have any other questions or anything before we finish up here? No? Okay. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you today. I'm going to finish up this list and I will email you as soon as possible, okay? Probably, um, probably tonight, okay? Alright, no worries. You take care now. Bye-bye.